This how-to video relates to a practical investigation carried out by students uh, and this is it. And to start off with what I've done is I've summarised the actual reaction which is taking place. So basically what's happening is, is sodium hydroxide is being neutralised by sulfuric acid to make sodium sulphate and water. And in this experiment what you, uh, students did was they put 25 centimetres cubed of the sodium hydroxide unknown concentration into a conical flask and titrated it with the sulfuric acid um, of a known concentration in this case 0 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed and the average titer having done this experiment three or four times they found was 23.4 centimeters cubed so the first stage of working out the concentration of sodium hydroxide is to work out actually how many moles of sulfuric acid have actually reacted and we do that like this so here is our general formula for number of moles equals concentration times volume over a thousand it's over a thousand because we're using centimeters cubed and there are a thousand centimeters cubed in one decimeter cubed so what we're doing is we're working out how many moles actually of sulfuric acid have reacted and we, here is the concentration 0.1 mole here is the volume used 23.4 and here's a thousand so if we do that calculation we find out that 0.00234 moles of sulfuric acid have actually reacted with the sodium hydroxide so how do we progress, progress this forward? Well, now we need to look at the actual stoichiometry of the equation. We have this number of moles of sulfuric acid. But if we look over here, this number of moles reacts with twice the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. So in other words, what we need to do to work out the number of moles of sodium hydroxide is to multiply this number by two because there are one of these in the reaction and two of these in the reaction so one of these reacts with 0.5 of these or one of these reacts with two of these or one mole of this reacts with two moles of this or 0 0.00234 moles of this sulfuric acid reacts with 0.00468 moles of sodium hydroxide which is twice this value so let's just add that into the description so there we go we've got 0.00468 moles of sodium hydroxide that has reacted so now what we need to do is we need to look a little bit more at the volume of sodium hydroxide and we know that this number of moles of sodium hydroxide is actually in 25 centimeters cubed so what we can now do is we can use this equation again to work out what C is because we know what the number of moles is it's here 0 0.0468 and we know what the volume is it's 25 so therefore by rearranging this equation we can get an expression for concentration we can substitute our values into that equation and we'll get the final concentration of the sodium hydroxide in moles per decimeter cubed so let's do that so here we have this equation which I have rearranged to make concentration the subject and basically concentration equals the number of moles times a thousand divided by 25 well we know what the number of moles is there they are times a thousand divided by 25 if we, we can do this in, in several ways uh, on the calculator or um, freehand if you if you so wish but basically I multiply this number by a thousand first and then divide it by 25 or 
you can divide a thousand by 25 and multiply it by 0 0.0468 irrespective of the way you go the answer comes out to 0 0.187 mole per decimeter cubed and that's the concentration of the sodium hydroxide in the solution that we reacted with the sulfuric acid. There is one last part to this experiment which is to work out okay so we've got this number of moles per decimeter cubed what's that in actual grams per decimeter cubed and this is a very simple calculation all we really need to do is to multiply the number of moles we get by the relative molecular mass so let's quickly do that so there's our final cal calculation the mass of sodium hydroxide per decimeter cubed is equivalent to it, the number of moles that we've got which is 0 0.187 moles times the molar mass or relative molecular mass of sodium hydroxide which happens to be 40 and if we multiply that by that we get 7.48 grams per decimeter cubed uh, so there are 7.48 grams of sodium hydroxide dissolved in one decimeter cubed and those are all the stages in the calculations uh, to provide the required answers. I hope that's been helpful. Thanks.